What's up, you guys? So I wanted to talk to you guys today about the GRE test. Now, um, I know that everybody has a lot of questions about this exam. Um, it is one of the major exams for PA school, but uh, there has been some changes in the recent year, a um, little over a year, and some of you are asking questions about it, uh, even though it's now like a year later. So I want to address that um, and just kind of do a revamp to the video that I did a few years back. Um, talking about everything that you need to know about the GRE in eight minutes. So let's get to it right now. What's up, you guys? It's Adana. Welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to talk to you guys today about the GRE um, and specifically everything that you need to know about the GRE. And obviously, it's not everything that you need to know about the GRE, but it's most of the important things that you need to know about the GRE. Um, firstly, I just want to address the fact that, yes, the GRE test did change um, September of 2023. Um, and I feel like it was changes for the better. Um, so I'm going to list out those changes for you so that you are mindful mindful of them and then kind of just give you a little bit of tidbit of information that you probably would want to know about like taking the GRE exam. So the major question that most people have been asking is, is it still scored the same? And the answer is yes. Yes, it is still scored the same. It's still out of like the 340. Um, each section is still worth um, up to 170 from 130 to 170 is what you can get on the verbal and the quantitative section. Um, and those are really the sections that are like important for PA school though like that large number is the number that they look for um, not specifically um, talking about like the analytical section so the GRE is still broken down into your analytical like writing you know argument section your quantitative section which is more of like your mathy type like physics -y section and then your verbal reasoning section which talks about like all of like your antonyms synonyms and like reading of passages and understanding that Okay, now uh, the test itself used to be almost four hours long. I know freaking crazy <laughs> almost four hours long um that is uh pretty much almost the the same length as my board exam to become a pa it was over three hours and so it was like you're in there for a long time just kind of going through the gauntlet of studying now they have changed it to less than two hours and just like a few minutes less than two hours but it is an hour and 48 minutes now which is great because you're not like sitting there like just I don't know dying of thirst and hunger while you're taking this exam because that also plays on like how well you perform and I think this is one of the reasons why they also made the adjustments and changes to this exam another change is the unscored section is no longer there and then to make the exam um, shorter they made some changes to the actual sections of the exam. So let's go through those changes, all right? So when it comes to your analytical section, there used to be two uh, like analytical re writing sections that you had to essentially do, right? Now it's only one. So you only have one like argument that you have to kind of defend um, and it's about 30 minutes long. Okay, you get 30 minutes for that section. With respect to your quantitative and your verbal reasoning section, um, still two sections. The sections used to be broken up um, where you had like 40 questions in the section and then uh, you had to, you know, do those two sections. Now you only have 27 questions in the sections, uh, so less for you to be uh, actually doing. Um, and again, another way they shortened the exam, okay? Uh, so although the exam has been shortened, uh, it still costs $220, so um, that is something for you to keep in mind. If you are in, like, China, um, that's the only place where it's a little bit more. It's over, it's a little over $230, I think it's like 231 35 or 235 31 something like that those numbers are are there but that is what it is um apart from that you still can get um kind of like assistance like a um not truly a fee waiver but you get a reduced fee if you apply for it and are accepted so your fee instead of paying $220 it will be a hundred dollars for the general um exam and then if you're doing subject tests uh, it's no longer like 
150 dollars you, you pay 50 percent of what the cost of the exam is so maybe like a hundred like instead of 150 dollars you would pay 75 dollars okay um and then still if you need accommodations um if you have a disability um or if you know there are any accommodations that you may need you can again apply for that you still go in to um, like an ETS approved site to actually take the proctored exam. Um, you still get your little headphones and all of that stuff. But the major, major difference is that it is shorter and that is a beauty, okay? So um, if you want more information about the GRE exam and how it pertains to you and where you can take it if you're studying for it or um, if you're going to start studying for it because you need it for whatever graduate level education that you are um, trying to obtain, go to ets.com. Let me just make sure that that's it, okay? I, I just don't want to like give you guys the wrong website. So yeah, ets.org, not ets.com. So it's ets.org for more information on the GRE exam. Um, of course, you can go hit up my old video to see everything that I talked about in that video and how it compares to this video with respect to the changes. But I listed out the major changes for you guys. Um, and then the major similarities, which is that it is still scored the same, okay? All right, so hopefully this video was beneficial for you guys. It answered the question that you've been asking me. Um, if you have any other questions for me, leave them in the comment section below. Again, just hit up ets.org for questions pertaining to the GRE. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at down the PA and on Instagram at GetThatC University. Um, check out my stores and, you know, thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!